Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel that is Day of Chanel's 40s World and we got another salacious crazy story coming from blackamericaweb.com and it's praying time honey. Our subject today needs prayer, 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 prayer. So come on in the room. Come on in the room. Jesus is my doctor. And he writes down all of my prescriptions. And he gives me all of my medicine. In my room, Lord, 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 it's praying time, it's praying time on these people right here, okay? Eva Marcel, I tell you, I don't know what has gotten in her head, but Lord, she needs prayer. We all need to throw up prayers for her on a daily basis because she has definitely lost her ever loving mind, okay? Now, I know y'all saying. You, you sitting up here talking about folks, you don't know all the, the ins and outs of the situation. You don't know this. You don't know that. You're putting her down. You're putting her out there to pasture. You don't know what this is. Hey, you right. I don't. But guess what? Eva Marcel Sterling sat on a live platform. The Ricky Smiley Show and just ousted. Her ex-boyfriend, fiance, however you want to see him. She just strictly said, hey, y'all, forever, for whoever want to know, I got my daughter's name changed. She's going to be a sterling now. She ain't going to be a McCall. I don't care what her biological father said. You know, we kind of estranged. I'm going through this domestic violence thing. You know, she's just trying to uh, rip it up, put it out there when she was on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. I think it was season Ten or eleven could have been eleven. All of us becoming a big blur to me right now. But yeah, she went out there just expressing everything. Didn't ask for the information, Lord. Didn't ask for it. You know, <sighs> she just went out there and put it out there on social media wavelengths. Okay, on a popular platform, a radio personality who she is supposed to be, other than being a reality celebrity star. Other than being the top next model winner, I don't know what season it was, but you know, just giving her a resume out there for the public to uh, gravitate to, to try to navigate through to see where and why and how, when she would want to say, I want all my children to have the same last name. I don't want her to be known as a McCall anymore. I mean, you're going to erase that from the baby girl. You can't erase her DNA. You can't erase her biological makeup or who she is. She got half of your blood, half of his blood. I mean, the thing you need to be doing is sitting and praying for all of the people that are involved in this situation. Because, hey, men get up and leave every day. They could have been a part of a 50-year, 60-year marriage and... Had trouble sometimes through all that. Things were forgiven. Things were made up. Proceeded to stay on into the marriage. And then they just forget like, uh-uh, I need to be free. Okay, I'm old. I'm decrepit. And I just want to be free. And they can up and leave. Same thing with a woman. Could be with you six some odd year. Don't went through hell and back with this woman. And then she just want to say, okay, I'm just going to leave you. I need to be free. My deal is, why are you going to change your child's name at this point in her life now without even giving her option she too young to even know what is really going on in her life and how it's going to affect her later on i can't believe you did this evil you made such a very rash and snap decision you were all in your feelings and i don't know maybe people were in your ear or whatnot but i don't care whether you with the man or not with the man, that's still that man's child. You cannot erase that heritage, that lineage, uh, not lineage, lineage, um, all of the makeup of who he is, what he is, and all that. You can't change her DNA, honey. 
You slept with the man. You produced the child together. You're just going to have to lay in your bed, okay? And for you just terribly doing that the way you did it without even asking the baby girl, waiting for the time for her to expand and grow and understand who she's a part of, what she's made up with. She has some of your genes, some of your blood, some of your heritage from your side of the family. She got the same thing from her father's side. It doesn't matter what we feel about these men and women we have children with. The babies are innocent. And we as women have got to learn how to control our emotions when it comes to that. Anything that's affecting us. And I can speak from this because I was in that same situation. But I was like, no, I'm going to let my child keep her name. Plus, I was married to the Joker anyway. Okay. She wasn't a bastard child. We were married, happily married at the time. Had a baby. Yes. And she grew up still with her father, her dad's last name. And um, I never thought to change it. I wanted out. I wanted my name back. But I didn't change my name until after she got 18 years old, you know, because I didn't want her to go through the stigma of how kids are just so unfair and they love to tease you when this is going on and that is going on. And then you with this family with this name and then, you know, your mama name is some other kind of name. Like, kids be interested and nosy. They want to know in and everything about your life. When it ain't got nothing to do with them. But, you know, it's just how it is. Kids are very mean and mean-spirited at times. So, to avoid all that, I just kept my name hyphenated. My maiden name hyphenated my married name. Once, and I even checked with, I was like, you know, baby girl, I really don't want your dad's last name anymore. No really reason for me to have it other than just getting you through high school. Um, would it be okay that I change my name? Because I, I really better have my name going back to my maiden name. And if I get married again, it's going to be a different name anyway. And she's like, I don't care. Do what you got to do, mom. Whatever makes you happy. You know what I'm saying? But at least I took the time for her to be well-versed in her father's last name. Okay? And, um, you know, and that's how I did. And I thought that was very appropriate. Now, there were days and times I did, you know, once we were separated, got divorced and he wasn't paying child support like he was normally supposed to be. You know, and I'm telling you women, you could put them up for child support through the system, state of Georgia. <sighs> it just is what it is. They keep changing jobs, doing what they want to do to, you know, avoid doing it. They're going to do it. It should be an honor. It should be a privilege for them to say, hey, I'm not going to let the state or some man with my uh, dad had to do this, so I'm going to make sure she good, okay? But, you know, like I said, he wasn't one kind of brothers. He was at one time, and then somehow, you know, he started messing with other women, started wanting to have other lives and stuff of this nature. I, I don't know, okay? It's just what it is. But I think that one time he had the baby with me, he didn't have any more children. You know, he got married again and all this thing, but I think it's just kind of like, he wasn't a good fit and he didn't want to bring in another child to disappoint because maybe he was disappointed in his life and he just felt he wouldn't be a good father because, you know, to tell you the truth, he really wasn't, you know, he wasn't there with her. Uh, when he did pay, he paid child support, but I'm like, she didn't have her dad in, in her life. And even as she got older, she still didn't. So that was a choice he made. Not that I had anything to do with it. And you could trust and believe. Anybody that know me, they're like, nah, she wasn't like that. Okay? Because I don't believe I have to force anybody to be with their biological children or, or child if they don't want to. You know what I'm saying? So it's a learning lesson. It's a learning curve. And it can make you have a decision where if you're not going to do right by children or you're not going to be there or want to be in tune with them, but they pretty much take over your life until they get out and have a life of their own. Then they, nine times 10, they're going to bring grandkids or whatever. And then it's going to be a whole nother cycle going on. But um, she was my one daughter, my one child, and he only had her as his child. And it just is what it is. But I did not even think about not letting her hold his last name. That's an honor. That's a privilege. That's what you do. Now, of course, if y'all are like a strange, y'all weren't married, this, that, and the third, then okay, if you feel like you don't want him to have a child's name, if he wasn't there, you know, uh, while you were giving birth, didn't want to show up, just want to be lost 
and not found type of situation, then yeah, you know, put the child as your last name if that's what you feel you want to do. Uh, because it seems like you are doing it by yourself and he's not here witnessing the birth of his child coming to the world, then yeah, let the cookies fall where they may. But if y'all had a solid relationship at the time, either you deem yourself forward, straightforward. So you named the child. He was there with the child and, and, and welcoming the child in the world and probably cut the umbilical cord and all that stuff. Now he was good then to uh, hold the daughter's name that y'all brought into the world. Why must you do this thing and create all this social media buzz? See, that's what I'm saying. People always want to come in my comments and my section. Why you want to talk about people? Why you want to do this? Why you want to do that? And like I always tell them, because I can, because I want to, because I have an opinion. And then some of my address, please go look at that video. I'm a commentator. I comment on things. I express my opinion. Are they the Holy Bible? Are they the Holy Grail? Are they like the piece de resistance? This is where it is. This is where the book stops. No. Okay. I have an opinion. You have an opinion. They have an opinion. We all have an opinion. Okay. That's all it is. But we're all trying to find the reasoning, reasoning why people come on social media and they put stuff out there. Then when they think, wow, I shouldn't have did that. I, you know, I can't withdraw it. Cause no, you can't withdraw it, but you can be respectful. And I just thought that he was just made a grave decision, a bad decision in coming out, expressing it the way she did and not even letting this little girl grow up because things can change. Kevin McCall might be going through a mental breakdown. He may be having some issues he's not willing to deal with. OK. In private, nor in public, you know, and then maybe he is at this time getting help. Maybe he's in rehab. Maybe he's checking, uh, doing checks and balances on his life and his uh, children's life or how he wants things to be, you know, preserved for them. And what's making him do all these crazy things and saying all these crazy things. Because like I said, when you're in danger, truly danger you're going to try to go in hiding pretty much. You're not going to be on a reality celebrity uh, sitcom show program that plays, shows your every move, where you're at, when you're at it, who's probably watching your children while you're doing this. Then you're on a radio personality. I mean, you're out on Front Street for everybody to see, hear of, and try to get your agendas of your daily comings and goings, okay? If they have that privilege to have that information. But then if you're going to be out and about and you want spectators to come and see you, you know, you're giving your every location. So the theory of you're supposed to be in some kind of witness protection program, um, you know, before because your strange boyfriend is saying this, that, and the third, and he's doing this, that, and the third. My Lord, isn't your husband a lawyer? Okay, I mean, he may not practice in a type of uh, counseling you need and representation, but I'm sure he has friends. They know that ha handles certain kind of family law issues and, and things of that nature that he can hook you up with. I mean, you are his wife. He is your provider. He is supposed to be your protector. But it seems like you're trying to replace him as your daughter's father. When she already has a dad, a father in her picture. He may not be all that put together right now mentally. But you're trying to erase somebody who's still physically living on this plane of existence. And I think that's just so wrong. You know, it's making her having to have to choose of someone who's having trouble not being able to take care of her because of his mental uh, stability at this time and someone who's stable right now that's doing the darn thing as a good provider. But I might just do, uh, wipe away his rights and, and do all that because maybe you're not getting child support. I just don't really feel that's a good fit. For you to be doing it. And the only reason I'm expressing my opinion. Because you put it out there on social media. And I just felt that was just downright nasty. 
I mean, it's like y'all playing dirt ball in the streets. Y'all ain't worried about these kids and what they're possibly going through. They don't understand the uh, finalities of what's really going on, what's structuring, what's taking place, or how they're going to be done in the future. You know, what's going to be left of a relationship with her biological dad? It's like you're just trying to tear all the fibers that connect them together, Eva. I don't understand, girl. You're just doing too much. And then you put it out on the Rick and Smiley show of all places. A public, well-known platform such as that. Are you kidding me? And I mean, they had you all filmed up, mic'd up and everything. You really just dropped the key. And you just like, one, two, three. Yes, I did this and I did that and Ooh, the judge favored me and this, that. I'm like, favored you, honey. I'm the person that can favor you and throw blessings on you is the Father in heaven that sits high and looks low, okay? And can make your enemies your footstools. But Lord have mercy, even you just doing too much, girl, out on these streets, okay? Got me talking about you in the YouTube realm. But I'm also praying for you too, child. Get yourself together because two wrongs don't make a right. And like I said, that Mr. Sterling that you claiming that you, you have all this favor with and he done saved you from this, that, and the third, and he's the best man you could ever have. Honey, 10 years down the road, you might not even be with that man. Then you got three babies. Now you got him two biological, one just by default. And what if he get married and the, uh, the wife like, uh-uh, you can't take care of her no more. That ain't your biological child, honey. When them Jezebels get up in that man's ear, and it's the same for uh, men, too. When uh, men get into women's ear, so y'all don't be trying to say, I'm just being biased because I'm not. I'm looking at things from both perspectives. I mean, come on, you know. He might wake up one day and say, I don't want you no more. And then what you gonna do? Cry your little eyes out and say, "No, you gotta, you gotta stay with me. We got babies together. Men don't want to hear that now, and women don't want to hear it either. If the shoe's on the other foot, when they're ready to go, they're ready to go. So even I don't know, but we gonna get on that. Shazzy, you crave too much. Lord, I'm trying to take. And my daughter trying to walk around with her boyfriend in the house trying to get out the door and the dogs are just going crazy. I'm really going to have to tell me somebody to get me my own studio with soundproof. Wouldn't that be nice, guys? I know it would be. I get tired of hearing all this puppy hopping, jip-japping going around here. I know you do. I know you do. But let's get on into the story that Black America well put out. Now, I know I don't tear it a little bit too long, but I had to put some gossip in there. We got to throw up some prayers for Miss Eva because we don't know what she's doing out there, Lord. We don't know what she's doing, okay? She's making a mess already in a bigger mess, okay? I didn't say when you dig one ditch, you might well dig another because somebody about to fall right behind you, okay? Woo, okay. We're going to see. I can't pronounce. It's an African name, I'm sure. Or it might be French. I don't know. But we're just going to go with Victoria. That's her first name. She's the little journalist uh, who posted up the story that she wrote for her employers, Black American Blogging Resource. Okay, credible. All right. It goes in as her title reads, Eva Marcel changes daughter's last name to her husband, y'all. Meaning her first husband. Okay, maybe I'm her only husband. I don't know, because she was messing with, was it Lance Goss or somebody like that? The guy that played in the Pains, or, or the Browns, I think it was. Or was it the Pains? Hell, I can't remember, but I think it might have been the Pains. But anyway, yeah, uh, him, and then she was messing with Kevin. Then it was somebody else she was messing with. So, you know, evil done been around, okay? So, she ain't no, you know, hey, she ain't nothing to be like, she's virgin material, Okay. Just throwing that out there, not in this article, okay? But going into the article, it reads, Model, reality TV, and radio personality, Eva Marcel, has changed her daughter's name, Marley Ray's last name, from a call to Sterling, ahead of the arrival of her third child and second with husband, Michael Sterling. 
And she says it feels amazing. Amazing that you're pregnant, baby, again for the third time, or amazing that you uh, fraudulently changed your child's uh, dad's name to another man's name from another mister. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, evil. Do better. You know better. But then again, I don't know if you know better. So we we praying that you do better with this situation and reevaluate it and straighten it out. Okay. If you must, if you won't go back and rechange the name, please, if he gets well enough, because like I said, he might be off his mental rocker right now. And we need to give him time to heal and to reconnect, okay, with our plan of existence. And then I want you to do some damage report because I don't care. Michael may be the good father for her now because he's stable, he's loving, he's caring, he's there with her, but he's not her biological father and her biological father is not dead, okay? So we need you to mend some fences, okay? Play nice in the world of society we live in, Eva. Play nice, okay? It ain't all about you, all right? It ain't all about you. Okay, we're going back to the article. It says a 34-year-old announced news on a recent episode of the Ricky Smiling Morning Show. Ain't that tacky, y'all? Ain't that tacky. But y'all always coming on my station, my channel, telling me I'm putting out false rumors, gossip, and all this. But y'all ain't talking about the people that's dropping their own tea and think we're not going to have a response to it. Girl, please. Okay, man, please. Moving back on to the article, I just went through a name change for my firstborn, Marley Ray, she said. Marley was born in 2014, and I gave her her biological father's name. After two months, we became estranged, estranged, and I raised her as a single mom. Ooh, child, you raised her as a single mom in that short period of time. Think about the folks that do it for a lifetime, Eva. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't even been the wheel, honey. The wheel's been turning and, and squeaking and turning and, and churning and going on still, okay? And it's a lot of, uh, it's a plenty, vast amount of single moms that have done the thing, okay? So just stop it, all right? Stop it, Eva. Okay, but getting back to the article, it says, uh, you know, she's been doing the darn thing as a single mom for two months. Then she said, the good Lord saw fit to me. <sighs> Lord, sometimes I don't understand why people put your name and have your name in vain when they say you don't put them together. Has it ever come to a fact that maybe you put your own self together and the Lord may have witnessed you uh, creating such a horrific thing? That's going to be in your life for a while. Did you really pray for it? Because I'm pretty sure if it wasn't for you, the Lord would have been sending bow and arrows. He would have been sending darts or, or obstacles all up in your way. But you was like, nah, that's just saying getting in my way because I, I won't stand this bad. And I know the Lord, he heard my prayer. Well, you know, Satan hear prayers too. He may intervene sometimes, okay? Get into it, okay? Get into it. But getting back to the article, guys, I'm sorry I can't again. I got thrown off topic, but you know that's how I get down. Y'all know me by now, okay? It says, um... After two months, we became estranged, and I raised her as a single mom. The good Lord saw fit for me to meet an amazing man, Michael Sterling, who has become my husband and the father of my latter children. And so, long story short, we all have the same name, last name, Sterling, and Marla's the only one with her biological father's name. Okay, so I'm like, is that a crime, honey? Is that a crime? People been doing this from the beginning of time, okay? All right, since we were throwing our paradise and we had to uh, struggle and fight and 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 work hard at like you know dogs in the field or something, sheep in the not sheep in the field, but we call those horses plowing in the field, honey. What what is she talking, my lord? She don't know. She don't know, Lord. Ooh, our prayers go up for Eva, child, because she is in her own little world. But getting back to this article, it said, I saw it necessary. And Mike saw it necessary to change her name to, and Mike ain't saw nothing, honey. That was you nitpicking, saying whatever you wanted to say, as women do. We do a lot of nagging, and we try to say what things look like to other people. You know how they say living for the Joneses? 
trying to live like the Joneses when you need to be watering your own plants in your own yard and paying attention to your own business, okay? And seeing what works for you all. Child, please, how many? Now, I'm just going to say in the black race, in the black family, y'all got different names going on up in there, okay? Some of you got your biological dad's name. Some of you don't, okay? Some of y'all don't even know who your biological dad is, okay? Because your mama was out there doing whatever she was doing. Your daddy was out there doing whatever he was doing, okay? Sometimes the men be in a good right of things. And they don't know or what kind of woman they mess with, you know what I'm saying? She could be one of them women of the nights, you know, be with you now, five minutes later, she with somebody else on the dial going, you know, going into another county seeing somebody. You don't know, you just don't know, okay? But when you know, you do better, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, she said, um, ah, so we've been going through the process, which I must say is not an easy process. It's not for the Ain't it hard, but we've been working through it. And yesterday I can say thank you to the Honorable Judge Manning here in Florida County Court. She granted me a name change for Marla. She now officially and legally Marla Ray Sterling. She asked for all vital records to be changed, her birth certificate, her social security card, her health board, I mean, I guess her health immunization shots or whatnot, everything for my family. It's amazing. No evil, you dummy. You pay for that. Okay, you pay, you got representation. The judge uh, had certain guidelines you had to be in and things you needed to do. You met all the criteria for her to grant all of that. Of course, when you have a name change, dummy, you're going to have to change everything from the rooter to the tutor, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Okay, you got to get everything new. That's the same thing when you get married. You have to change everything. If you want to be legally known as that person, okay, that you're trying to represent, yes, everything must change. Child, but one thing you can't do, bless God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, you can't change the DNA makeup. Okay, you can't change that either. So you could try to whitewash it, try to paint a beautiful picture that she was born a sterling. She's always been a sterling, this, that, and the third. But guess what? You can't change that DNA. And Lord, I so, uh, hopefully I forbid anything happen to your daughter where she's going to need a transplant or uh, you know, blood transfusion or whatever, and the only person that can help her out is her biological father. Girl, what you gonna do then? What you gonna do then? Because you already got mud, feces on your face and everything else. You're looking kind of foolish out here. You really are. Because I don't understand why you would do that. What possessed you to do that? I mean, you want to strip somebody butt naked, dry? Well, you, you did it, honey. You did it. But hopefully he ain't impressed about it. And he can definitely go back and seek legal representation and get the name changed. He can just protest it and see what he can do to get it changed back in his name. Okay? Unless he did sign all rights away from her. And then that's going to be something I'm pretty sure he's going to regret before he leaves this earth. Because nothing is like your children. Okay? Because you see a little piece of you and them that's growing and being better than what you were. Hopefully. You know? Um... Uh, but that's how I got out of the story, y'all. Like, I was kind of blown away that, you know, it's hard uh, for black women to even have a, a black man want to say that's their child. And then one that wants to have that child have his last name, you doing so much to keep that from even being a part of society and a legacy for himself, for his daughters. Okay? I I don't understand. I don't understand, child. I don't understand, girl. Even you're doing too much. I tell you, this TV life, the same and fortune you're searching for. Oh, child, you just exhaust me with this story. But y'all get in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it. I don't understand. And don't be saying I put her on Front Street because nope, she put her own self on Front Street. It's just silly stuff like this. Kind of gets next to me sometimes because we're supposed to be going forward as a family. As a country, you know, and we need to do better. We know better. We just don't practice doing better. And I don't understand. It's like we regressing. We regressing. We're just tearing down the dynamics of the black family. I don't understand. Pitting one against the other. How can we become a great nation? We can't even get the family situation together. Backbiting. 
cat fight. Woo! Child. Then we got biological DNA erasing type of stuff going on. Woo! But anyway, that's it for I had that I had for this video, y'all. I tear it, I tear it a little bit too long. But Lord, we're gonna say blessings and prayers for the family that is involved with Eva Marcel. May they definitely be covered by the blood of Jesus, all right? And may she get her soul together and her mind right that it may fun make her function as a better thinking human being, Lord. Give her peace. Give her child, her children, her family peace because she needs it, Lord. I ask these things in your precious name. Amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good night, and I'll be back for another video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.